Alright guys, today I've got a video here on my Galaxy S4 and this is going to be kind of a universal thing. I'm using my S4 just because I like doing stuff on here right now because it's my new phone. Um, but this is kind of universal and what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to use a tool to theme your device. Um, so it's, it's pretty cool. I'm going to go over some basic stuff with it, basically the setup of it, and then show you a theme uh, that I've kind of made up myself for my S4. Um, so the first thing, couple things we're going to go over is some things you're going to need. Obviously you're going to want to have good battery life whenever you're working on your phone for any kind of modification, so that's really important. Uh, next you guys are going to want to go into settings, uh, more, and then about phone. And you need to turn on developer settings. To do that you're going to tap on the build number. Now you can see it says no need because I'm already a developer. So you tap on it like seven times and it's going to enable this menu right here, developer options. Then you're gonna click on developer options, make sure it's turned on up here in the top, and you're gonna turn on USB debugging. So that is very important to do all of those steps. Once you have that done, you're gonna just plug in your phone to your computer with your cable, which I have a right here. Plug it in. And then you're gonna go ahead and click on right here. It says connect as an installer. And then you're gonna and then you're gonna click on this uh, media device. MTP right there and then you are going to go ahead and let the drivers install alright so when well, you got this set up like this you can go ahead and set your phone down right now and let's go over to my computer and show you the program we're using okay guys so today the program we're using right here is called tickle my android which I think is an awesome name um, and I'll give you guys links to this program in the video description along with another program I use which is called uh, paint.net so you'll have links to all that stuff in the video description down below. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to download this program and you're going to install it in your C drive. It'll auto try to install there anyway on your Windows computer so not really a huge deal. Just kind of let it install as it wants to when you run the installer. And it's going to look like this when you get to it. So you go to your C drive or you do it this way so you guys can see it easier. My computer, C drive, tickle my Android and then you get to this Windows right here. Um, so basically what you're going to do is you've got everything set up on your phone already. You're going to just click on the program and bring it over here so you guys can see it. Alright, so um, basically what you want to do is you want to set up things here which is going to be the theming menu. So you're going to click 2 and then hit enter. And you want to, to set up this app to run right. You want to pull files, files from device. So we're going to click 2 again. And now we want to start doing these, these steps pretty much in sequential order. Uh, works out pretty good for what I've seen. So um, we're going to go ahead and pull framework res.apk. So we're going to hit 1, enter. Um, please enter the file name you wish to pull or enter to keep the file name the same. We're going to use it the same. So we're going to hit enter. And it says you want to pull this file and it overwrite anything existing. Say yes. Something went wrong. Please try again. Okay, so basically we're just gonna work down this list right here to set up everything we need to start our theming. So we're gonna start with one, hit enter, keep the same name, so hit enter, hit Y to override, and we should start here in a second. Okay, so there we go. Our file is done. Would you like to back up this file? Go ahead and hit yes. And it says that's done. Would you like to decompile this file? Go ahead and hit yes. And it opened up another window over here on the side, which is decompiling everything. So when this one finishes, it should shut. And you'll have your framework res apk backed up decompiled and ready to go ahead and start theming that apk all right so then down here at the bottom keeps extending here says would you like to install this file to your pc you also want to hit yes on this it kind of just walks you through it you pretty much just hit yes on almost everything so it installed it 
and it uses it now as a reference to recompile the framework APK. Um, so then you can push any key and we're back to the same menu you had before. Um, the next one is the framework jar, so just keep going through the steps. I'm going to do this one for you guys again. Keep the same name. Hit yes. Backup, yes. Would you like to decompile? Sure. It decompile really quick and it's done. Uh, we'll do one more. Um, and that is, I'm going to actually, well, we'll do, we'll do the top four here. So we're going to go three now. Keep the same name. Yes. Back it up. Yes. Um, decompile. Sure. Okay. And continue. And then the last one we're going to do is four. And enter. Yes. Yes. And decompile. Yes. And it's decompiling over here on the side. And basically when these are all done, you go through all these processes to get everything decompiled and able to use it. And then I'm going to show you guys how to use it. So we can hit enter again and we'll go back to this menu. The last thing we want to do for TouchWiz is you want to down or do this TouchWiz Framework Res APK. So you're going to hit 7 because that's what runs on TouchWiz is what runs on the S4. And we'll do this one really quick too just because. It'll be a full full fledge here. So yes. Okay, back it up. Yep. And decompile it. Correct. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long here to decompile. You can see the window. Okay, and then do you want to install on your PC? You want to hit yes right there at the bottom. Here, I'll show you. Dink. And yes. And it's done. And okay. All right, so we've got everything you pretty much need. You can do more on here, but this is the main stuff. So we're going to actually just hit X and then go back. And it gets us back to here. And you have a bunch of options in here. This thing is really cool. There's a ton you can do. Like I said, if you go to the, the link in the video description for Tickle My Android, you will see all of the fun features you can do with it. So what I'm going to do at this point is actually go ahead and show you guys what we've done and created and show you guys what I've done and edited to make this thing run really cool and to put up a theme that I've created for my S4. Um, so at this point, I'm just gonna close out this program for right now and show you guys where all these files have gone. So they've actually gone into working. So this is all of your decompiled files that we just did. And you can look through all these and, and go through them. And then here is all the stuff we pulled off the phone and in. And like I say, this is working. So you can come in here and you can go to res and we can go into drawable and you can edit all the icons. And what I used to edit them is I just go in here and I pick one and I go open with this program right here. And it is called paint.net. And then I'll just zoom in with it, and then I can do whatever I want to edit it, you know, highlight it like this, make it blue like that, uh, like that, and you can save it. And let's see if we do a save really quick. Save. All right, and then bring it down. You can see now you have a blue airplane. All right, it's pretty simple. That's pretty much how I do it. Um, so all that being said, next I'm going to show you guys what I've actually done here. Just give me a sec. Copy these. And you can recompile things and do all, all those kind of goodies also um, if, if that's what you desire to do. So we're going to go back to working and go back to tickle my Android right here. I'm going to put these in my out folder. Where do I want to go here? Paste. And then I'm going to actually open this program up again really quick and do a quick run through and create a flashable zip. So I'm going to go 7 on it. Um, add file, which is 2. And I'm going to add 2, which is system UI. And hit yes. Continue. Then I'm going to add um, ooh, framework. So system frameworks, so that's 3. Enter. 
and that's number one for framework yes continue and then create zip actually set destination is what I want to do first so we're gonna do six and I like the destination so I'm gonna go back and hit cancel and then I'm gonna do create zip with seven just okay yes and it's actually up here in the top corner it is creating my zip so it tells me it's ready continue then I can close and my zip goes to my temp folder right here and that's the zip I just created of all of my edits and stuff I've done so I'm gonna pull this to my phone and then we're gonna install it and I'm gonna show you how this looks alright so just so you guys can see here I've renamed this and then I copied it and I've actually put it into here's my phone and then downloads right here and it's right here it's this file so I just put it in the phone and now we're gonna unplug it and I'm gonna show you guys this alright so we got the file on our phone we want to flash this file from recovery because we created a flashable zip um, to do that I like to use goo manager and I'll just reboot into recovery and yes now obviously if you're gonna install a flashable zip like this or actually do pretty much any of this process you are gonna have to have root access custom recovery installed you can push files to the phone through that tickle my android application instead of creating a flashable zip I just like doing this It's kinda of fun um, it's a little easier I think to use my opinion but you can actually push the system UI and the framework res APK to the phone also either way works but I want to show you this because of those flashable zips really cool um, so basically all you're gonna do is hit install you are not gonna wipe anything you're gonna level up until you can get to the SD card go to downloads where I put my file and then I just gotta find it it's right there make sure it's listed correctly it is and go ahead and flash it um, so very very cool uh, this is um, let's see this uh, tickle my android is created by tickle fish is actually the guy's name and then this tool I'm using here that he's included in um, tickle my android is a universal flash tool and it's created by uh, JR if I can read this correctly JR soft I think uh, so anyway those are the two guys that kind of created this and made this really simple for us and then I'm just gonna go ahead and hit reboot now this is gonna reboot uh, fairly quickly but this did wipe cache partition with this flash and uh, because of that it's going to go through the Android is upgrading process and upgrade all your applications so it does take a little bit to boot up all the way but it is normal when it does this so don't be worried about it um, and everything that you've edited will now be on your device if you just edited the system and framework that's the two files I put on this flashable zip so like I said you're gonna see this I'm gonna let this go through I'm gonna show you guys my changes and I'll kind of wrap this up alright guys so I have finished rebooting now it is highly recommended that you guys make an Android backup before you flash something like this just in case you never know what's gonna happen um, so that is a highly recommended that you guys do that and you can always restore it in case something goes wrong um, so I don't know if you guys can see this I think you should be able to though but uh, up on the top right there you can see that uh, all of my icons are now like a blue to white looking shading thing which is pretty cool um, that's one of the things I edited on here also you can see that all of my toggles now are also that also blue to white but instead of a gray scale background they're on a black background um, and you can see those are all edited over um, right there pretty cool I like that look a lot something pretty neat that I've kind of done myself and then also you can see that this little notification its little icon is also in blue also so that's pretty much what I've done with it it's just a bunch of the notification stuff on top and then all of your little toggles are uh, changed over so there you go that's that's my modification that I did through my system UI and my framework res now tickle my Android can do way way more than this it has tons of features um, like I said, if you guys go to the thread that I have, it's got tons of directions on how to use this down in the video description. Um, i also give you a link to uh, paint.net, the program that I use, um, along with the Samsung drivers. You may want to install them also, um, so you'll have everything. But uh, there you go. That's pretty much another way to edit things. Um, you just got to go through and look at all the drawable stuff. That's pretty much all I'm editing in here is drawable um, files. 
um, so PNGs and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, that's all. That's what I want to show you guys. Uh, sorry about how long this video was. Hopefully, it's got some good information on here for you and gets you excited about theming your phone. I definitely dig this color right here. This is way cool. So there you go, guys. I uh, hope you liked it. As always, please check me out right up here at uh, rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on the site at Facebook or Twitter. And we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.